<laughs> Come on, man. All right, so this is Angelo. Let me see if my daughter Anna Devine is, is up. I want to talk about my wife again. Send her another letter. My baby is sleeping, but I'm going to be making her milk. So this is letter number two. You understand what I'm saying? Letter number two. Um, as I make her formula, I can make her a baby bottle. Riza, I sent you a letter yesterday, okay, saying that the best thing, and I have to keep my voice down, the best thing for you to do is to stay in Sabu. Why? Well, you don't have a life here. You don't have a life here. That You know, you, you owe BB. Four thousand dollars. I'm not gonna pay it. I'm not in any obligation to pay that bill. Okay. And see what I'm saying. I don't have to pay that bill. Let me just go and wash out the baby bottle. I'll be back. I don't, I don't, I don't need to pay that bill. And just be careful because I gotta move this. You know, I don't know, so, so I, uh, baby bottle um, cleaning, washing. You understand? So it's just a deal. You know what I'm saying? I'm, 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 I'm in no... And I have to keep my voice down again because Anna Anna is, you know... She's um, basically sleeping. She's sort of getting up and sleeping. She, she slept very late. So I'm making this baby bottle probably for Sean. <laughs> because um, she slept like about 7, 3 o'clock in the morning. Because she, she slept, you know, like maybe... I don't know. Four o'clock in the afternoon, something like that. So, um, okay. So, I think the best thing for you to do is to stay in Cebu with 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 Mary, because you know over here you're not going to be able to pay your bills. You're always going to be worried about paying your bills. Okay. You're always going to be worried about that. Let me see. I got the warm water. Let me just heat up this just, just a little bit. You understand what I'm saying? You're always gonna be worried about paying your bill. And I'm not gonna help you pay your bill. Okay. I didn't tell you to get a a loan from BB. You know. And um we're not together, so you're the one who got the bill. You gotta pay for it. I got I got my things to pay. I need I need to pay for the baby's uh, pampers, two babies, milk for the whole month, pampers for the whole month, wipes for the whole month. You know, vitamin, Anna's medicine on occasion. You know, she doesn't need it every month. The bottle. You know, we used to get it every month, but she doesn't need it every month. Thank God. You know what I'm saying? So, so um. You know, I have things to do. I have to I have my food to buy, right? I have my expenses. You understand what I'm saying? I have my expenses. You know, I have to eat. You understand what I'm saying? You make your decision to fool around, okay? To cheat, to lie, to steal, huh? to connive. To, to plan and scheme. I mean, you you made that decision to go against your husband's desires. You know, if I told you to do something, you won't do it. 
you know, if I told you to do something, you won't do it. And it's been six years of the same thing, of disrespect, of not honoring your husband. You understand what I'm saying? Not honoring, not honoring me. You know, it's been the same bloody thing every year. Every year has been something that you have done to hurt our marriage, either cheating online on Facebook, um, stealing my money, lying to me in, in one way or another, you know? So, you know, um, You need to stay over there because you don't, you know, we're, we're going to get a divorce or separation. And that's just a deal. And, and I'm not going to be helping you in all that you want to do. You know, like I said before, like um, if the authorities, not the authorities, but you know what I mean? If the, if the, if the people that be say, well, Angelo, in order to, to get this separation or divorce, you're going to have to pay, you know, Risa every month something. Well then, I'm gonna I'm 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 under obligation, according to the rules of separation or divorce or whatever the case may be, to pay for your alimony or whatever the case may be. You know that's just that's just a fact, and I and I accept that. I accept that I, that I accept. You know the authorities that that are ordained of God, Romans chapter thirteen. And, you know I can't, you know, bitch you one and complain. On something that God has ordained. And probably before the foundation of the world. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I can't complain about that. But I'm talking about, you know, things that, that, that doesn't have to do with that. I don't have to, I don't have to, you know, give you money anymore. You, you had the, the opportunity to, to control my money for about, I don't know, two or three years. You had that opportunity. I gave you that opportunity. I never gave that opportunity to nobody in my life, you know, for for them to 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 you know to to uh, what you call it to control my money. <laughs> I never get a. I gave a woman, you know, autonomy to control my to control my money, man. You know what I'm saying? I never gave that to nobody. To no. To no. Come on. I never gave that to nobody. I gave it to you. I trusted you with my money. You made stupid decisions with it. You didn't buy what we needed to survive the whole month. You know, you would buy little and then depend on your brothers to bail us out. You understand what I'm saying? And that's not the way that's not the way you do it. You're responsible for your own things. You can't expect for your brothers to bail you out all the time. That's why I don't I don't even ask my brother for any financial assistance anymore. You, you, you know what I'm saying? I don't because we're responsible. I used to ask him, but I saw the light and I say, wait a minute, this is, this, these are our children, at least our child at the time. We only have one and now we have two. And we're responsible for our own children. We're responsible for us. We not we we can't be asking people all the time for money. Asking Denise and asking Fernando and no, oh, this is just not like that. So when I when I made that final decision on not asking anybody anymore for any financial assistance, you kept on. You kept on asking for Fernando for help, Denise for help. My nieces, without my permission, you you contacted them and asked them for money. And my sister, come on. You you, you used to do things behind my back without my permission. You, you just don't do that in a marriage, you know. A marriage is an example of Christ in the church. I'm playing the role of Jesus in the marriage. Read Ephesians chapter 5, verses um, 21, all the way through the end of the chapter. You understand what I'm saying? I'm playing the role of Jesus Christ. You're playing the role as of the believer. That the believer is submissive to Christ. And I'm your head. I'm your head. I'm, I'm your head. 
that's a fact. You know, if you don't like it, if you don't, if you don't like that, you shouldn't have gotten married. All the women that don't like the, that that teaching from the Bible, they shouldn't get married. I'm just saying, you you should never get married if you if you don't want to obey the rules of Christ. That you know, you're playing a part of the church. I'm playing the part of Jesus. Who's the head of the church? Jesus. Who's the head of the wife? The husband. You understand what I'm saying? That's what it says. All, all, all across the board. That's what make my move for, for Anna over here. You understand what I'm saying? You know? I didn't put sugar, though. I'm calling you. <laughs> and um, I think the best thing for you to do is to understand... You know, before you get into another relationship, which you can't, you can't even do anyway. According to everything in the Bible, you you have to stay alone. According to everything in the Bible, your husband is still alive, and you're bound to me. You understand what I'm saying? That's just a teaching from the Bible. I mean, you know, it's just the, the way it is. Oh, but that was at that time. No, forget, forget about that. Romans chapter 7, 1 Corinthians chapter 7, uh, Matthew chapter 19. So many scriptures indicate to you that you just cannot get married like you think. Mm -mm, no, you're tied up. You're you're bound to me. That's what the Bible says. Now, if a woman doesn't like that, well, that, that woman has to question whether or not she's a Christian person. You just can't, you know, not like everything that's found in the Bible and call yourself a Christian. And there's a lot of women out there, a lot of men also, that, that don't like the Bible and what it says on, on certain things. And then they call themselves Christian people. This is not like that, though. You know, it's not like that. It's not. You know, it's not like that. It's not. You know what I mean? It's not like that. You have to do what the Bible says, you know, in the marriage. And after the marriage is over, you have to do what the Bible says. Okay. Before you get to be married, you got to do what the Bible says. Because we're Christian people. We do it. The, we do it God's way. You know what I mean? That's just, that's just a plain old fact. So, you know, um, I think my message to you was very clear. I think that you don't have any future here. You know, you're not respected here by a lot of people, even though you think that everybody respects you. Not everybody respects you. Not everybody thinks that you've been good to me. Some people think that, that you have not been a good wife. Um. <clears throat> You know, everybody sees that I stay here practically the whole month, month after month after month, except for a few days here and there that I go out. I stay with my special child. I clean the house. I take care of her. I'm faithful. I don't drink. I don't smoke. I don't gamble. I don't waste away your money on gambling, you know. That doesn't get you saved. I'm just saying that you know I, I you know I don't do what a lot of husbands do. That they're unfaithful. That they they, they, they gamble away their money. That they, they they no. I'm very responsible with my money and and make sure that I have enough for the kids. You know, the kids things. I already mentioned what, what I need to buy every month for the kids. You know, I'm I'm a person that can get loans. You know. Small ones, big ones, and stuff like that, you know, on occasion. I have helped the family tremendously. Before I came to the Philippines, I used to send you a lot of Western Unions. I send you Western Unions from February of 2018 through October of 2018. And then October 28th, when I touched down to the Philippines, okay, we went to the, to the ATM and got out $800 plus dollars in the first day. And it was like that basically, you know, every single month, you know, and sometimes I got a little less because, you know, um, the government 
found out that I was working, so they had to take some money out. But then eventually it came back to where it was before. I used to give you power, autonomy over my money to do, you know, to to take care of it and to and to buy us things and to to make the money last a little bit and to go on trips and to do this and to do that or whatever the case may be. Put gas in the car. I even bought a car. We had it for a while, you know. And everything like that and and you squandered you do you, you 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 know the opportunity that I gave you to have control of my money and when I said to you I want to take a I want to take away the power that I gave you over my money you said I quote I want to go back to mama's house end quote so I mean the only thing you was interested in is, is the money that I had you, that's not a Christian woman. A Christian woman doesn't do things like that to take advantage of people's money and, and get married just for money. You know, that's a typical Filipina that does that. That's a typical American that does that. That's a typical Chinese person that does that or whatever the case may be. That's not a special, you know, um, born again person from God that does that, at least a practicing one, you know. You understand know what I'm saying? So I, I think the best thing for you to do, and I could do, I could, I could, you know, it's just the little things also. It's the big things and the little things. The big things is like, you know, that your ex is waiting for you. He's dead. So I don't have to worry about that anymore. I mean, he died, you know, last uh, November 2023 of a COVID, a COVID vaccine reaction, you told me. So Oscar is, is dead. So I don't have to worry about you telling me what my ex is waiting for me. That's what, you, that's what you used to tell me. You used to tell me, you know, Angelo, can I have permission to have sex with somebody with my boyfriend tonight? End quote. That's another thing you used to say. You cheated online on Facebook behind my back with, with an 80-year-old man or whatever he was, you know, for money. That's Those are the big things. The little things is like, you know, every time I would see, like, things disappear in the house. You know, and be in your mother's house. Like spoons and forks and plates. And may, and somebody may say, you know something? Are you bitching and wanting and complaining, Angelo, about spoons be disappearing from your house? Like you had 30 spoons and now you're down to maybe 13 or 15? Or you had like maybe 20 cups and now you're down to 15 or whatever it is? I mean, you know, you have to understand, everybody, that... The principle of the thing is what counts. If I say not to do something, you don't do it. I don't care if it's like a, a marble that, that's out of this house. If I say that I don't like things in the other in the other house that I buy with my money to be here, you have to do what I say. So it's the principle of the thing. You know, it's the principle of the thing. You understand what I'm saying? I mean, we had like uh, a certain amount of towels and now we're down to two towels. <laughs> Come on, man. You know what I mean? Um, there was um, things that were missing from my house that I know that you sold. I'll give you an example. Like uh, there was this um, uh, AC, AC or whatever you want to call it. This 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 um, charger for the speaker that's missing. Just just vanished. And things that I used to have that I no longer have are gone. Because I know that you probably sold them for money. You don't do that. You don't sell some your, your husband's things. You know, it's, it's a principle of the thing. It could be a small thing. It could be a big thing. You know, the principle is that you don't steal. That shall not steal from anyone, especially your husband that is trusting you to, to be in the house. You know what I mean? Let me get my coffee because it's going to be cold. Um, man, I'm, you know, don't do any ill, Ill towards your, towards your neighbor that's, that's dwelling trustingly, that's living trustingly beside you, says the book of Proverbs. You know what I mean? If I trust you, you're going to stab me in the back by selling my things in, in secret? That's stealing. I don't care what it is. You know what I'm saying? There's shirts that's missing. 
There's things that's that's missing. And you want some big things? Well, you know, guy told you to go with him several times and you went with him. What what were you playing cards? I was sitting with you on the log that was cut for people to sit on. And this was this was in 2018 or 2019. I can't remember. And he used to this guy is a guy, and that's not a girl. He used to go, he used to go toward the, the log, toward us. And he used to tell you. Come on, let's go. And you used to get up and go with him. What the hell were you doing? And then I caught on to it, you know, because I'm just naive sometimes. I, I caught on to it and I said, wait a minute. It's like the fifth or sixth time that he did this. And I said, wait a minute. Where are you going with him? What are you, you going to do? What, are, what is this? It's the, it's the, it's the equal thing of, of, a, of, a, of a, if I was in the United States with you sitting down on a park bench, because we don't sit on logs unless you're from Vermont, you know. Um, you know, down south someplace, you know what I'm saying? Or in a camp. It's the equal thing of me sitting on a bench with a whole bunch of people and a girl comes to me in front of you and me and says to me in a wooing type of voice, in a sort of sensual voice, sort of like that, like when you want to have sex, you know? And she says, Angelo, let's go. And then I get up and go. Well, what the hell are you going to think? We were just we were just watching the movies and on, on, in, in 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 the living room. Come on, man! You, you see, this is the thing. So it could be the spoons, and it could be stuff like that. Everything is, you know, like yesterday. There's a hole in the bathroom uh, roof. You understand what I'm saying? There's a hole, so I have to fix that because the rain. When it rains, it, it rains in the bathroom. You know, like a little, you know, the drops. You know, and so individually if it if it, you know if it doesn't rain too much it's just a couple of drops but if it rains a lot well it could, it could get you know it could get it nagging it could bother you like when you're sitting down you know on the toilet you know if you don't be careful you could get wet <laughs> by the water that's coming down so i'm gonna i'm gonna get that fixed you know you know what i mean So it could be a small thing, it could be a big thing, but you know everything accumulates and becomes one whole big disappointment or you know bothering thing that you always do. You always do something in our marriage to put it down. You always do something in our marriage to instigate arguments and fights. You always do something that I told you not to do like a hundred times, you know. Like when you make the food for the baby or when you make uh, milk for the baby, you leave the, the, the table very, very, very dirty. Well, I wasn't brought up to be dirty like that. You have to understand that you have done a lot of tremendously bad things. And if it's not that, okay, if it's not that, it's beating me up in front of everybody when you were pregnant. And then admitting that it didn't have nothing to do with your pregnancy. So I don't care what anybody says out there. So, oh, well, she was pregnant. So it was one of those mood swings. No, because she admitted to me, Risa admitted to me that it wasn't because of that. It was because of jealousy. So she beat me up in front of everybody. You know, um, she beat me up. She tore the shirt off my back. She threw a fan on my, my left arm. She hit my head on the side of uh, cement blocks. She broke a uh, glass on the floor next to our baby. I mean, she she broke the window area netting that we had up there, and 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 on and on and on it goes. So it's you got little things going on and big things going on. I t I'll tell you to be here at a certain time to make food for your your handicapped child, and you're not in nowhere in sight. Sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes. And I say it again and again and again and again every stinking day to be here at a certain time, and you're not. And then I have to go be. I have to be looking at, you, looking for you, throughout the town, the little village. I should say, you know, not town, but the little village. You know what I'm saying? What I'm saying? That's that's not right. You're 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 not you're not 12 years old anymore. You're you're a you're going to be a 38 year old woman in 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 about a, in 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 December. In in four months, you're going to be. You understand what I'm saying? On the 28th of December, you're going to be. 38 stinking years old. You know? <clears throat> and this is the thing about, you know, my loans. Sometimes, you know, I would get loans, guys. Okay. 
And just when a loan is about to break, she comes up with these stories that you can't believe because she's you, she can't be trusted. Oh, I just got bit by a dog. You know, and it happens at the same time of my loan. Oh, I got bit by a dog. Oh, Romanito, my brother, wants to go to uh, semen uh, training. Oh, you know, we need money for a lawyer. That happened three times. In the last six loans, that, that happened three times. Oh, my mother is in the hospital. But it happens right at the day of the loan. Now, it could be true, some of those things, or all those things could be true, but you can't trust someone that, that wants to have sex with a boyfriend in the middle of the night and, and says that to her uh, husband, that she needs permission in order to do it. And then you try to make love to the girl, and she pushes your hand uh, aside, you know, my wife. She pushes my hand, L you know, like if she was a virgin or something like that, you know what I'm saying? I mean, she had five kids. You know, you're not married, you know, the mother of Jesus. You know what I'm saying? You know, saying? You know who was a virgin before, you know, she got married. And, you know, it wasn't, you know, after. So, but that's another that's another topic. <laughs> you know what I mean? And Canagraph is lost. I mean, that guy's lost. More lost than Reza. <laughs> you know, he used to be a, a, a cult fighter. And now he's a, he's a cult defender, you know. Uh, the Eastern Orthodox Church with a capital E. But anyway, forget about that. So, anyway, I could I could go on and on and on what you did, but but you're a person that needs to stay in Cebu with your daughter, and then you can get Godfrey to relocate over there, and blah, 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 and that's just the deal. You can you can get, you know, Godfrey to stay over there with you, so that's one child, and you have Mary, that's two children of your first, uh, uh, you know, of your first... Um, of your ex, you know, uh, children that you had out of wedlock, by the way. You know what I mean? I mean, you know, anything can happen. I mean, you know, I'm not but, but to repeat a matter, you know, you know, having three children out of wedlock and I didn't not even get any married. And you're lucky that you got married because if you would you didn't get married, because if you would have got married, I would have I would have never have been with you. You know, so with to God that you would have been married and then I would have I would have rejected you when you told me that you were, that you got married, but you didn't get married. So, you know, so, you know, that's that's why I, you know, was able to marry, marry you. You know what I'm saying? About the bound issue, you know, being bound to your husband, if you're married or if you got married, then there would have been curtains for us. But. So you need to stay in Cebu and, and, and you know, and, and do what you say you was going to do. You say you was going to stay in Cebu. You stay. You say you was going to stay in there for many, you don't know how long, many, maybe many, many years to, to pay your bills. Well, then do it. Why are you going to come back over here for, for what? You know? You know, mercy and, and the people on the side, of, you know, that side, they don't respect you. They, 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 they might say in your face that, ah... Uh, Hi, Riza, how are you? You know, and then, you know, behind your back, everybody's talking about you. Because they know that you have a good husband. They, they know that the, you, what's the problem. The problem is you. You, you had a problem with your ex before I came on the scene. Either you threw him out or he threw you out of his life. You know, and they got another person. And now he's dead. I mean, so you had problems before. You understand know what I'm saying? If you didn't have problems before... Why was you separated from from your ex, Oscar? Because you have problems. Probably he got tired of the same stuff that I'm getting tired of, and that's just a deal, and he walked away. I know you're not going to walk away from somebody who has money like he did. It wasn't that you threw him out because he didn't give you no money. No, no, no. Because, because see, you understood that. You told me one day when we got married, now I understand why things had to be between me and Oscar, you said, end quote. Well, if you threw him out, you already understood that. That was a decision that you made. It's nothing to understand in the future. Oh, now I understand. No. No, it's not like that. If you threw him out, if you were the one who threw him out, then you already understood what you were doing. <laughs> you know? Then you could say, well, now I understand that why I threw him out because the thing is that, you know, Angelo had to be on the scene and 
I had to marry somebody else. Okay, fine. You know, I mean, you know, I'm a debater, so I always play devil's advocate for the for the people who don't.